Hi, so here we have one more problem based on height and distance and the problem statement over here says on a straight coast there are three objects A, B and C such that AB is equal to BC is equal to 2 kilometers. So suppose this is the straight coast line and suppose three points over here are this, this and this. Right. Suppose these are the three points and let's name them as A, B and C. Then there is a vessel approaching B in a line perpendicular to the coast. That means the vessel is approaching point B in a line perpendicular to the coast. So this is a line perpendicular to the coast. And let's assume that this is the vessel which is approaching the point B in a line perpendicular to the coast. And what they are saying next? Next they are saying and at a certain point AC is found to subtend an angle of 60 degrees on this vessel. That means if suppose this vessel is over here then if I join these two points with the line then this angle is equal to 60 degrees. This complete angle is equal to 60 degrees. And after sailing in the same direction for 10 minutes AC is found to subtend an angle of 120 degrees. That means if in 10 minutes this vessel reaches somewhere over here, then the angle subtended by AC is equal to 120 degrees. That means this angle, this complete angle is equal to 120 degrees. Find the rate at which the ship is going. So we have to find the speed of the ship, right? So formula for the speed speed is equal to distance by time. Speed is the distance covered in unit time. We know the time. Time is 10 minutes and in 10 minutes the distance covered by the ship or the vessel is this much. This is the distance covered by the vessel in 10 minutes. So if we can find this distance we can find the speed of the vessel. This distance over here is 2 kilometers and this distance over here is also 2 kilometers right and if I call this point as D and let us call this point as point E right then these two triangles triangle ACD this outer triangle and triangle ACE both are isosceles triangle. ADC is an isosceles triangle because BD which is actually the median and divides AC into two equal parts is also a perpendicular to AC. That means this line is equal to this line or we can write as AD is equal to CD and this line is equal to this line or we can say AE is equal to CE and we know in isosceles triangle the angles opposite to the equal sides are also equal and now if we see properly the triangle ADC is actually divided into two congruent triangles and those two triangles are triangle ABD and triangle BCD both of them are congruent triangles right that means these two angles this angle is equal to this angle and both of them are 30 degrees right similarly this angle will be equal to this angle and both of them will be equal to 60 degrees now if we talk about triangle ABD here AB by BD is equal to tan 30 right and tan 30 degree is equal to 1 by root 3 right so the length of AB is equal to 2 kilometers and BD we have to find that means BD is equal to AB root 3 or this is equal to 2 root 3 kilometers right because the value of AB is 2 kilometers similarly if we talk about triangle ABE in this triangle AB by BE 
is equal to tan 60. AB is 2 and BE we have to find and this is equal to tan 60 that means it is equal to root 3 right so from here we can say BE is equal to 2 by root 3 kilometers so we have found the length BD and we have also found the length BE that means we can find the length ED which is actually the distance traveled by the vessel in 10 minutes ED will be equal to BD minus BE right BD is 2 root 3 and BE is 2 by root 3 right and if we take the LCM it will be root 3 and this will be 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6 minus 2 right so the distance ED is actually equal to 4 by root 3. 4 by root 3 is the distance traveled in 10 minutes. Right? That means the distance traveled in 1 hour will be equal to the speed which will be equal to distance which is 4 by root 3 and this is traveled in 10 minutes that means 10 by 60 hours. Right? And this will be equal to 4 by root 3 multiplied by 60 by 10. The 0 will cancel this 0 and we will have 6 fours are 24 by root 3 kilometers per hour. This is the speed of the vessel which is approaching the point B at the coast. We have solved it using trigonometry and when you are solving questions like this your drawing should be proper. So first we have drawn the triangles and then we have used the values of tan 30 and tan 60 to find these distances which are BD and BE and then we have actually found the distance which was traveled by the vessel in 10 minutes and using this formula we have found the speed of the vessel which came out to be 24 by root 3 kilometers per hour right so that's all for this video and we have a few more videos in which we are using trigonometry to solve the height and distance problem. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.